welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing a full review on the I Love Sara E Times ColourPop collaboration. And Karen, if you're watching this, I'm so, so, so proud of you, girl. Congrats. I was honestly so happy when you came out with this collab because you deserve that and more. And I do want to give you a really big thank you because... If you guys didn't know, um, Karen was like the very first a big influencer, I guess you could say, that I talked to. She kind of like took me under her wing when I would go to events. She would introduce me to all of her friends. So yeah, for today's look, I did like this purple wine smoky eye. Honestly, this is perfect for any event. On a date night, on your way to Target, anywhere. I would honestly wear this like anywhere. But yeah, I'm not trying to make this intro too long, so let's go ahead and get started. and moisturize my face now I'm gonna go ahead and prime it and I actually restocked on my holy grail you guys know this is the only primer I would use literally I don't know why I didn't just go to Sephora and stocked up on it I use like all these different primers but I'm back on it so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face and we're gonna go ahead and ignore my little baby hairs because they're always everywhere let me just wait till this sinks into my face I like to tap it just to make sure it's like really in there for foundation i'm using the dream cushion by maybelline and i told you guys i was not lying when i said that i actually fell in love with this foundation i've been using it non-stop ever since i did my one brand makeup tutorial if you guys have not checked it out i will have it linked down below but i'm just gonna go ahead with my beauty blender and start applying that all over the face I don't know why I fell in love with it. I feel like it's just the perfect color, first of all, for me. But um, it's not that full coverage unless you build it up. But I kind of like it. But it's not that full coverage. Because for the summertime, I don't like wearing heavy foundations. For concealer, I'm using one of my old OGs, I guess you could say. And this is the NARS. Creamy concealer. I'm just gonna use a little bit. For a translucent powder, I'm just gonna set my face with the Laura Mercier one. So now that my face is all set, I'm going to go in with my Hoola bronzer. And I recently started liking this one. I don't know why. Now I see why. It's so hyped up because it's actually really, really nice. It complements my skin tone better than my um, Jouer one, actually. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe R7. I don't have a code with them, but you can use my friend's code, um, Thomas or Kim Tai. I have a lot of friends that have a code. So go support them as well. For blush, I'm using my Milani Luminoso blush, just on the apples of my cheeks. So as you guys can tell, I did one eye off camera already and honestly, I am obsessed with this eye look. It's just like a purple wine smoky eye and I honestly love it. I love it. So this is what both of her palettes look like. The packaging is so freaking pretty. It's just gold with this like, um, I don't know what kind of print this is. And it says ColourPop times I Love Sara E. This is the Saucy palette and then this one's over here, the, the Cheeky palette, Cheeky palette. And I'm actually gonna be using both of them today. And I'm quickly just gonna do some swatches for you guys. So this is what it looks like without the packaging and then you open it. And then here are the four shades on the Saucy palette. You guys are going to be shook because I only did this eye look with two colors on the whole lid. And then the inner color is a different color. But I'm going to go ahead and do swatches of the matte shades so you guys can see how freaking pigmented these are. Ooh, right there. Isn't it going to camera focus? There we go. It's focusing. It looks so freaking buttery. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and 
do cheeky, 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 cheeky. I'm gonna do the other two matte shades. So it's this one and then which one? this one over here. Focus it, oh, there we go, focus. So there you guys can see, they're super, super pigmented. And I'm honestly impressed because it says ColourPop. ColourPop, their formula used to not be the best, but they have definitely improved. So now I'm gonna swatch the shimmer shades. These are really, really pigmented. I found out the bad way because I picked up too much the first time. The pink one over here. And this is what they look like. Super, super pretty colors too. I'm gonna do some swatching over here. Oh wow, wow that purple though. You see this one? Whoosh. Fuck, fuck me up. So I'm first gonna go in with this light lavender color. This is in the shade Lit, Lit? Yeah, it's called Lit. With my Morphe M433. I'm gonna begin by buffing that into the crease just with windshield wiper motions. And we're just gonna be going back and forth building up that color. And you really want to bring it up to the brow bone because we still want it to peep through although we add that um, that darker wine color. And you guys know when you get to the edge, make sure to lay the brush flat. That way you're really buffing out those edges. So instead of going like this, lay it down like this. Daisy tip right there. I already know that this palette is going to be my go-to, especially around the fall time because the colors are perfect. Now using the Makeup Shack T8 brush, I'm going to be picking up the same color and I'm going to be using that for the lower lash line. You're going to want to connect these two colors from this little corner right here. And then I'm going to go back with that brush and I'm going to buff the two together. Since we are not doing eyeliner, you want to make sure you do not neglect this little area over here. Going back to the M443, I'm going to be picking up Heavy Glam and Frick, this is so pigmented. Do you guys see how much product I picked up? So I like to go like this first and then slowly incorporate that color. A little bit of product goes a long way, so I'm not going to dip my brush back in there. I'm going to go back in with the M441 and I'm going to buff those two colors. Now I'm going to do the same and pick up the same color with the T7 brush. So now we're just going to buff out those edges. Okay, so now that I'm satisfied with that, I'm now gonna get this brush, and this is from Juvia's Place. Their brushes are so freaking pretty, not to mention they're my favorite color. Oh my god, look! This looks so cute. These two colors look so cute, huh? I kid you not, when I first did this eye, I barely tapped it and it picked up a lot of product. So, you guys, you guys see that? Holy guacamole. So I'm just gonna be putting that all over the lid. And I'm kind of doing like swiping motions, that way not too much product is just in one little area. So for lashes, I'm using Mika Nose by Lily Lashes. And I'm not going to lie, you guys, remember when I told you when I first got these, I was not a fan of them at all, these in Miami. But I decided to give them a second chance and I actually liked them this time. So now I'm going to grab this eyeliner by Anastasia, it's called Dark Side, and this thing sucks, but it's the only one I have, so I gotta work. What the heck happened here? Oh my god. So when a product dries out, this is what you do. Just pass the light through it, and it should get all soft and stuff. Did it even? No, didn't even get soft. My contact holy crap oh my god did you guys see that my contact literally came out of my eyeball 
I'm gonna go in with the Chicky palette and I'm gonna go in with Freckles. It's really, really cute. It's a cute name. Both means that I have freckles, which is really cute. Whew. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a difference between these two lower lashes. And the thing that I did is I add black eyeshadow to the eyeliner. That way it stays on longer and it cancels out that negative space between the liner and the lashes. You guys will see what I mean. So here I just picked up some eyeshadow with the angled brush and I'm just going to tug my eye a little bit and go over the waterline. So you see, it already makes it look more dramatic, fuller, it just looks better. For highlighter today, I'm gonna try the new Jouer Skinny Dip Highlighter. This is actually my first time trying them, so we're gonna see if I like them or not. Oh, shit. That looks really pretty. I know. I like it a lot, Ooh. actually. Ooh. Like a lot. It's like smooth too. It's so, but it, you know, like when I put it on my skin, it doesn't like go on top of the skin. It actually melts into the skin. Wow. Well, I think I found my new favorite highlighter, you guys. I know it's Daisy approved because it has that little like reflection that I like with my highlighter. Yes, exactly. So here are the lip products. So you have this burgundy shade, you have this everyday mauvey pink, and then you have a gloss. And then with each lip, you have a lip pencil which I think is really really cool so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them this is in the shade mamacita ooh it's gonna go how do I do this right here I'm gonna do it like this it's just like the perfect burgundy matte liquid lipstick that everybody needs in their collection and then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the lip liner right next to it So they're the exact same color. Mauvey one, this one is called 951. Wow, I know I'm gonna be wearing this one like every single day. Oh, I really like that one. My swatching skills suck, excuse it, but here is the one next to it. Wait, I don't know which one. Is it this one or this one that goes with that one? Okay, I messed it up. Okay, so this one actually goes with this one and then this one goes with the other one, but it's okay. Now for the gloss. Glosses, I feel like they don't really show like the true color when you swatch them, but it's just like a really pretty peachy color. It's honestly perfect for the summertime. So yeah, here are the swatches of the lipsticks. Let me zoom them in. So a lip I am going to do today is a mamacita. I was like, might as well go all out with a dark lip. I haven't done dark lips in forever because I only do them when it's around fall time. Saw two shoes, like I've never seen you do a dark lip, but I love dark lips. I'm going to go ahead and align it. I know my lips are looking a bit crazy right now, but it's okay. Once you apply this, it'll look a okay. So last but not least, I'm gonna set my entire face with the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. So this is the completed look that I came up with using her collaboration. Do I think it's worth it? Definitely yes. The palettes themselves are only $18 and the lipsticks are only $6 and the lip liners are $5. But if you want the entire collection, this is the PR collection that comes with this box. If you just want them individually, it's $60. But if you want the whole box, then it's $70. 
Honestly, I think it's worth it just getting the whole bundle. And as always, you guys know, I do have a giveaway at the end of each video. So all you have to do is comment down below which one was your favorite shade, lip shade should I say, and the lucky winner will win the whole PR collection. Right now, the collection is out of stock, but once it's back in stock, obviously, I will order it for one of you lucky babes. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!